So I want you to know um, at the outset why this really matters. And so I want you to think about why the gospel according to Paul would matter. And so there's some important reasons why it's so important. And so I want you to think about it with me. A common problem prior to COVID is this. A common problem prior to COVID, I saw this often, that there were full altars with lots and lots of people with hands raised to decide they make a decision for Christ, but not many disciples. People would raise their hand to be saved, but they would never make their way to a baptismal pool. And that concerned me. And so when you think about it, um, we tell people about how to get to heaven on Sunday, but then you see very little connection to their faith on Monday through Saturday. And so the gospel should lead to radical life change. Wouldn't you agree? So there are hands raised for salvations on Sunday, but we should see more commitment from followers of Christ Monday through Saturday. We count conversions in church, but sometimes wallets go unconverted. The gospel should actually lead to life change, shouldn't it? One writer astutely observed this, a message purported to be the best news in the world should be doing better than this. The religion's results are not commensurate with the bold claims that it makes. And so I want you to consider that we have this problem of more decisions than we have disciples. And so it's my strong conviction that our theology and our systems are perfectly designed to produce the results that we're getting. So if we reverse engineer that a little bit, we can say if we change our theology, if we get our gospel right, then there's a good chance we could get better disciples of Christ. And so that's my thesis, that if we have our gospel right, then we can get better disciples. My heart and hope for you in this project is that you'll rediscover the gospel and the fullness of its meaning and see the kingdom clearer and that it'll lead to life change in your own life.